Hello there. Holy moly, it's August 17th. It's August 18th, actually. It's August 18th, ladies and gentlemen, and we have an upload on FIFA 19 for you guys. Um, anyways, boys, second channel, what's up, guys? I uploaded a video on the Renato yesterday that was a ton of fun. Today, we're going to be trying out Fabinho. I've seen comparisons to this man saying that he is Patrick Vieira-esque. That is what I've seen. Um, now, to obtain Fabinho, guys, he is uh, obtainable this month through foot swaps. Um, you need a lot of damn tokens to get him, but a very good-looking card. Now, Fabinho was the most, I believe, the most played with card in FIFA 19 in the beginning of the game. I think if you looked on Footpin right now, which we could do right now, I think Fabinho is still... Uh, the most played with is 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 he? Let's let me hold on. Let let's take a look because I think Fabinho was literally the most played with card. If you go to PGP on Flippin, um, he may be the most. He may have the most games on FIFA 19 Ultimate Team. Most games played, 79 million games. Conte has 73, so he's getting close. Verona is 72. 79 million games on Gold Fabinho. Um, so a very popular card, and this is probably this is. I'm looking at this potentially as being the best. CDM and the Prem outside of Team of the Year Conte. I think this is going to offer a different style than Team of the Year Conte because I think this guy is a lot taller and he just plays a little bit more like Vieira, whereas Conte plays a little bit more like Conte. <laughs> so, 6'2", medium, medium. Obviously would love medium high, but medium, medium will do. Two-star weak foot is not the best. Um, it's not the best right there. Three-star skills is okay. Brazilian links is great. Obviously, Brazilian Liverpool is, means you get a perfect link to Firmino, uh, which is very unique. And then uh, you go strongly to Fernandinho, players like that. And there's a lot to offer. So 84 pace, 87 shooting, 95 pass, 91 dribbling, 96 defending, 94 physical. Very good looking all in that regard. You've got 81 acceleration with 85 sprint speed, 83 finishing, which is going to be solid because if you get an opportunity to use his long shots, that should do pretty, pretty well. You've also got the agility at 81, which is pretty solid. Um, 98 reactions is pretty damn fantastic. And then 99 composure as well. Is something I think that is definitely an impressive stat. 99 composure is very impressive. Also, 99 stamina is very very impressive. 99 state tackling is very good. 96 interceptions is very solid as well. Short passing at 99 is good. So the guy, from what it looks like on, on the in-game stats. Now, that's why we do these reviews in these videos because we go to try these players out. From what it looks like, it looks like he actually is going to be not that clunky on the ball. So that's what it looks like. Obviously, it's not always that way. So... We'll have to go in and we'll see that way. In terms of a chemistry style, guys, I think for Fabinho, I would probably play an engine on him. And the reason I would play that engine, guys, is because you don't really need more finishing. He's got the 83 finishing. But the engine is not. It's just going to help his clunkiness feeling. It's going to help him feel better on the ball. With the engine chem style, you're going to get the plus 5 agility. So the agility is going to go to 86. The dribbling is going to go to 99. The balance is going to go to 89. And then the acceleration and sprint speed are going to go up. You're going to get some crossing and passing stats added. And I think for me, when you look at the in-game stats as it is like this, you start to you start to wonder, does he feel like a faster Vieira? Is he better than Vieira? I, I don't know. I obviously don't know. I've used Vieira this year. So I think my goal from this video is to try to figure out with you guys how he really feels. Um, how does he feel um, just in general? Like, does he feel better than Vieira uh, in that regard? Now, obviously... It is going to be a little hard for us, I think, guys, to play uh, a 4 one 2 2 narrow with, you know, the players that we kind of have here. So I think what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to play a 3-5-2. Uh, so we're going to rock out with a 3-5-2, guys. And I think what we'll do there is we'll have Fabinho and Hullet as our center mids. We'll play Tellez out on the... Oh, wait, well, what did we just do there? Okay, we'll play Tellez out on the left. Uh, if I could select him, that would be awesome. So Tellez will go out on the left. Fabinho will go at right center mid, uh, and then we'll have, ha I like that, I like Hazard out there, Cruyff at Cam, Neymar and Mbappe up top, we'll have get in behind for the two strikers with the aggressive interceptions, that could work pretty well, uh, we're gonna have to switch Neymar and him around, for Fabinho guys, I'm gonna actually keep him on stay back, uh, cut passing lanes, and cover center, that's what I want to keep him on, just because I feel like, I feel like for Fabinho, you're gonna be probably treating Fabinho more as a defensive midfielder, uh, whereas you may be treating... Rude Hullet is a guy that goes forward a little bit more for you. So that's kind of what I want to do. And then obviously we need to make sure that Cruyff comes back on defense. It's very important, guys. I just want you guys to understand. If you guys uh, if you guys uh, do play the 3-5-2, it is very important that you guys make sure that you have 
your cam on stay back. It's sometimes very dangerous to have a cam in a 3-5-2 on stay forward or balanced because then there's a huge hole in the midfield and it looks like it's your center mids and it's not. It's just because you have that hole in the midfield, guys. So we're going to try to go ahead. We're going to try to get a game. And uh, we will uh, – oh, we got a game. Let's see. So we have an opponent. Uh, on this account, guys, we're, we're actually using someone's account to try this Fabinho out. I think on this account, we're on like a plus 10 or plus 12 ELO. So none of these games should be that easy. The matchup should be pretty tough. Uh, sweat champs should be, uh, should be in, 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 uh, in full, full force. And there it is, boys. This is the sweat champs that we're talking about. Another god tier team. So let's see how Fabinho does. To be left isolated. Otherwise, this formation... A little bit of an annoying touch there. And doesn't really do too well to retain possession. But I will say that on the ball, I think he feels a little bit better than Vieira. This guy is literally just going to be spamming first-time shots the whole game. So we will get our fair share of... There's a great block coming in for Fabinho. We'll get our fair share of defensive uh, defensive tasks, tasks, I would say, this game. Okay, Patrick Vieira actually scores a left-footed long shot that I didn't even know he was capable of. But, okay, there we go. So we're down 1-0, boys. Uh, not a great start. Not, at least not the start I was looking for. Got to pass the ball a bit better than this if they're going to make progress. Giving it straight away. Yeah, he makes he makes solid supporting runs. Something I think is uh, definitely an important stat. Great play. I cannot believe that we've just missed that shot. That's very impressive that Mbappe just missed that shot, but that was a really nice play. Pretty close to scoring there. Can you play that long through ball? Nice ball. Oh, what a finish from Tellez. This is why I love Tellez, man. Tellez' attacking runs are very, very special. A very nice play all around from the boys. And Tellez is going to actually tie it for us. One to one is where we're at now. What a finish. What a weird finish, but what a cool finish, right? The intentions of the opposition there. Okay, so this is the problem with the 3-5-2. Oh, Fabinho! Okay, now he didn't retain possession, but he just absolutely clapped that man. Yeah, the, the dribbling feels smooth with him, man. Dribbling feels very, very fluid. That was not a great pass. And that would be the uh, the weak foot, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. So, Not really any surprises there. I think you know what you're getting yourself into. That is such a good play from the opponent. What a play. What a pass. That's got to be a goal. That's probably on me for not finishing that. So disappointing. I, I really thought the AI would intercept the cross pass, so I didn't end up going for it. Can we get a goal? Oh, my God. In the 49th minute. All right, yeah, you got to call the half, man. All right, guys, so we take the 2-1 to one lead. We'll take it. We will take it. We will take it. Yes! What a play! I love these transition corners, dude. They're a lot of fun, boys. Nice, Fabinho. Well done. You know what, Fabinho? Well done. Can you ping it? Yes, you can. Good boy. So unlucky not to be level. But I've just seen one or two heads dropping. Pass. Losing a bit of belief, this team. Well done. Get in. Let's go. 3 1, boys. Let's get it. Come on. Get in. Oh, my God. I thought that was a top corner. I thought it was top corner. No questions asked. So he's come deep. And he's got hot through ball. Played by Neymar. Can go in from here. Get in. <laughs> Get in! That would have been the long shot, the longest long shot I've ever seen. Can you even say that? The longest long shot? Oh, I didn't like that. So but he's com he's oh he's confusing, man. Some of his like his stock doesn't feel as big as Vieira, like the radius of where he wins the tackles. It doesn't feel as as giant as Vieira's is. Which is confusing to talk about. I don't think a lot of people understand what I'm saying, but I think some will. Two minutes of added time. Two minutes. What it says on the board. Neymar. Alex Oh my God. Bang it. Bang it. 
Beautiful football, boys. Beautiful football. Take the 4-1 lead. That's going to be a W for game number one. And, yeah, Fabinho's solid. He's solid. And I'll tell you that much. He's solid. We're going to have to give another game to test him out in that next game. Next game. He has the fake Fabinho. We are ready for destruction. We're ready for destruction in this next game, boys. players, we are treated to seeing. I'm really enjoying good seasons and I'm it's definitely not really a player that you today. really want to go forward with much. He's not very electric in terms of that ball. style of play. Going forward with him is going to be Alex Teles. I think limiting, guys. I think it's going to be limiting. Mohamed Salah. Jorginho Wijnaldum. Great win there from Fabinho. I like that and another and a really good pass out there. And that's good support as they build this attack. Great. Oh, wait, what? How is that not a goal? Get in. Let's go. It's a kickoff. Unlucky for the opponent, obviously, it's a kickoff. But we had a crepe shot a little while back that I thought 100% should have been a goal. So. Sterling. Great from Fabinho. Yeah, defensively, he's amazing, guys. I, I don't really have much to say defensively. He just does everything. I think that's what you're going to get with the card, right? It's it's mainly a CDM. That's that. There's not much more to it. I think that's something that I was kind of wondering today. Like, yo, okay, is this guy going to be able to be, like, maybe a center mid? He's mainly a CDM, which is, I think, what I'm, what I'm learning right now. But positioning, defense, everything. His dribbling is a lot better than any card I've used before. Um, so something to definitely take away from the video. Can't mistake him. Saw the pass coming and got there first. And here's the shot. Oh, what a save, man. That's such a good save. Jesus. Fabinho. Lewandowski. Now the shot. Nice goal. What a goal for the opponent, man. What a goal. Such a talented. Um, such a talented goal from the opponent. Well done. Until he made the interception. Slipping it through. He's through here. Mbappe. Let's go, man. Mbappe puts this up 2-1, to one, guys. A little lucky because I did yellow time finish it, but the angle was good. Um, Let's go. Robert Lewandowski. There's good progress with this attack. Kick off. Well done, brother. Well done. Well done, brother. Fabinho. And he could get away here. Get in. Let's go. Kick off. Thank you so much, EA. Hopefully, you EA Sports lets me uh, beat this man. Great pass, Fabinho. Here's a chance to just stretch the opposition. Get in. Oh my God, that's filthy. Is that Mbappe? Is that a bar down? That's disgusting. Oh my God. What a finish. From Mbappe. What a finish. And we get a rage quit. Guys, that's going to be the video for today. I don't know how I've just managed to play that much FIFA 19, but I have. Um, Fabinho is very solid. Nothing special. Um, but definitely a very, very solid player. I don't know like if I really felt like he was that much different than Wijnaldum, though. I use Wijnaldum's team of season. He feels very similar. Um, you know, it, it, compared to Vieira, I think, it, it, you know, it's just not going to have the icon links. They're probably very similar, but... And, you know, I wasn't overly impressed. I think he's solid. I wasn't like, whoa, that's the best defensive mid in the game. So I was kind of expecting maybe to feel that way, and I didn't. So that's kind of my take on it. I'm not going to let the results of the wins just let me, like, say to you guys, oh, this is the best card in the game um, or the best CDM. But thank you guys for tuning in today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay. See you guys in a video soon. Peace out.